happy Sunday. I just made myself my greens this morning per usual. We've got all the essentials. I'm gonna do a little bit of planning for the day and then also relax this morning, make my coffee, ice roll my face. I love having a slow Sunday morning. It's my favorite time of the week. Like I look forward to it every single Sunday, but I just took my supplements this morning. I always take these natural beauty supplements, which I'm almost out, so I have to reorder those. And then I've been loving the Lemmy to Blow gummies. I take them every single day. Usually I would take like a pre and probiotic pill, usually like the seed or these ones that I get off of Amazon, which I really like. But I started taking AG1 greens and these are packed with pre and probiotics. So I love having these in the morning and you actually have to keep them in the fridge. That's how like live the probiotics are. And I love stuff like that because I generally notice a difference when the pre and probiotics are like so... I don't know how to describe it, like so high maintenance that you have to refrigerate them. So I love having these every single morning. And honestly, I do not mind the taste of these greens. They have like a tropical fruity mango type of flavor to them. The texture is just a little bit grainy. So you definitely have to froth them up, but I've been loving those greens in the morning. And then obviously my daily supplements and everything, which I get these off of Amazon. I love this Lemmy brand. Like it's the bomb. So anyways, I'm going to do my morning routine and then we'll get ready for Pilates this morning. workout this morning I'm just gonna head down to my apartment gym and do a Pilates workout and then warm up on the treadmill doing it 12 3 30 that's like my favorite way to warm up and then get that 30 minutes of a Pilates workout in I'm just gonna do a Sammy Clark workout her workouts are my favorite they're so challenging also very convenient because I have her app so I can just do them anywhere everywhere but they are definitely so tough and I always underestimate how hard the workouts gonna be and then Halfway through, I'm like, oh my goodness. But it's always the perfect way to kick off my Sunday mornings. I just love Pilates on a Sunday, it's the best. So I'm gonna get that going this morning and then we'll come back, freshen up and run some errands. Just wrapped up doing my skincare now i'm gonna do my makeup for the day i've been so into doing my makeup recently and just like trying out new products trying out new techniques all of that even if i'm not really doing much for the day i still enjoy doing my makeup but today I've, i do have a couple of things that i want to film for work like a couple of tiktoks and then i might be filming a brand deal a little bit later today which i'm super excited for so i'll be doing that today and then also like i said heading out to trader joe's and I always like to do Trader Joe's grocery hauls on my TikTok because you guys love those videos. So I'll be filming that as well. But like I said, it's just been super fun for me to do my makeup and like genuinely get ready for my days. It makes me feel a little bit more productive as well and obviously feel pretty. So I'm just putting on this e.l.f. Halo Glow. I thought this was a foundation, but I made a TikTok like trying a bunch of new makeup products and a lot of y'all were telling me that it's actually like supposed to be an enhancer for under your foundation and just make your makeup look very glowy and dewy, which it really does. But I was just using it as like a filter to kind of get rid of any redness and just smooth out my pores and stuff. And I really like it, but I do put foundation over it obviously to get rid of any blemishes and stuff. And I've been loving that product. And I think it was like $14 at the drugstore or something, which you cannot go wrong with lately. But the foundation that I've been using for the last couple months has been the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. 
so good. I've like never heard anybody talk about this, but I was just going through my makeup products one day and stumbled upon that and was like, you know what? I ran out of my foundation. I need a new one to you. So I grabbed it and I've been loving it ever since. I feel like it just really blends in well with my skin and gives such a pretty natural finish. So I finished doing my makeup and then make some breakfast. I think I'm going to make my protein notes for breakfast, of course. Just something very filling. I always love a sweet breakfast as well. So I'm going to do that. If anything, like usually on Sundays, I will make maybe like a bigger breakfast, like eggs, a whole scrambled eggs type of thing with sausage and cottage cheese on the side and like spend a lot of time making my breakfast. But my protein oats is just something that's so routine and so easy for me to make. And also, like I said, I kind of just want to get a lot of things done today and because we're running a little tight on time well not really I don't really have agendas on Sundays but I just want to get my errands done with sooner rather than later and the only errand that I really have to do is go to Trader Joe's so we'll take care of that once I start cleaning and then finish getting ready for the day apartment typically every other Sunday I'll do like my major Sunday reset where I'll deep clean the bathroom wash the shower take care of all my bedding throw that into the wash but I did all of that last weekend so today I'm just gonna focus on cleaning like all the surfaces wiping down the counter the floors and then going through my refrigerator wiping all of that down before I go out and grab new groceries for the week and then take care of some laundry so honestly this really shouldn't take me too long because I'll just be wiping some things down and tidying up just the very like surface basic level clean but I'm going to turn on podcasts because I always love to listen to something while I clean it helps it go by like 10 times faster so we'll figure out what I want to listen to Usually I listen to like tanks or just something that's like very background noise. I love her podcasts. So I think I'm going to listen to her March favorites episode, which honestly it's only like 25 minutes. So I'll probably have to pop something on after, but I'm going to listen to this and then start cleaning. And I wonder if that's where some of my disordered eating started because she was one of those girls. That, I mean, I, 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 I wasn't missing any meals of so many people. So she wasn't suspicious, I'd say, but...
the apartment is feeling it's so fresh and clean. That took me a little over an hour. It's like 3.30 right now. We've got all the noises going on. My dishwasher is going, the laundry is going, but I'm gonna head out to Trader Joe's because we just finished organizing the fridge. It looks so much better in here, but also fairly empty. We clearly have all the condiments and all the cold brew, but lots of stocking up to do. So I just made myself a grocery list last night and we're gonna go grab the groceries. Before we head out the door, I'll show you guys my outfit, but I made my grocery list. We have all the things I need to grab from Trader Joe's. And then sometime this week, I would love to get over to Publix. I don't really want to do that today, so we're going to skip that. But I went on Pinterest last night and gathered a bunch of meal ideas. So while I'm at Trader Joe's, I can reference this, which is so helpful. I just save the image and then pop it into my notes app. I think tonight for dinner, I might make these lettuce wrap things, which looks so good but also we'll see because sometimes I'm feeling a little lazy for dinner. So I just like to throw together a salad and then like salmon and veggies on top. But I definitely want to make some fun new recipes this week. Then as for my outfit, I'm wearing this cute mini skirt from Ali Yoga. They have the best tennis skirts and I love tennis skirts like this for the spring and summer. They're just like a really cute effortless little outfit. Long sleeve top is from, I'm gonna say Lululemon. Amazon, it literally feels like it's from Lulu. I have a couple different varieties of this um, top, just like different colors, and I love the way that it fits. So flattering on, so I can link it down below. And then of course, my purse is from Songmont, and I'm just gonna throw on some white sneakers. Joe's haul and honestly I'm very shocked because the total was around like $43 and while I show you guys the haul you'll see I did get lots of proteins so I expected this haul to be around like $75 to $100 but under $50 is crazy like this grocery haul will last me for the next week and a half to two weeks which is perfect because I'll be traveling a lot in April so I didn't want to get like a lot of fresh produce like lots of greens and fruits and stuff like that I wanted to stick with proteins and then go out to Publix and make little grocery runs throughout the week as I need to with lettuce and stuff like that because I don't want it to just like go bad in my fridge and be a waste of money in the end. So anyways, I'll just go through everything that I got very randomly starting with this bag. I got some brown rice. This is perfect to have on hand because you can just keep it in your freezer and you can pair brown rice with anything. Anytime I'm like needing a quick recipe and I don't really know what to make, I'll just whip up salmon, have some rice, throw some veggies with it and you have yourself a very simple healthy meal that takes under 20 minutes to make so you can put brown rice with pretty much anything and then i just got some baby bananas you guys know i love these i cannot leave trader joe's without grabbing these or the dried apples but the dried apples were out of stock so we went with the baby bananas these are just perfect to throw into my oatmeal snack with peanut butter that sort of thing which i did get a re-up on my peanut butter i'm obsessed with peanut butter i go through nut butter like crazy almond butter peanut butter I'm always having it. It's like essential. And I typically have this on top of a rice cake before my workouts in the morning to get like some carbs and fats before I work out because I cannot work out for the life of me on an empty stomach. It would be a mess. So I always like to have some sort of like peanut butter banana or peanut butter rice cake. Love my PB. And then I just got some garden vegetable hash. I've never tried this before, but I've been super into omelets recently. When I was in Miami, my friend and I went and got breakfast one morning and I'm like, I'm craving nothing but like a very solid, yummy omelet with lots of cheese and ham, like all the fixings. And I wanna start making them from home. So I got this garden vegetable hash, which has cauliflower, zucchini, bell peppers, fire roasted corn, celery, and yellow onion. Also, it'd be a very high protein breakfast to throw together with some scrambled eggs, chicken sausage, so good. So I'm excited to try this out and see how I like that. Which honestly, surprising that I wanted um, and have been craving omelets because I'm definitely more of a sweeter breakfast person, but eggs are always good, quick and easy breakfast to throw together. I just got some tomatoes for so many different salads and things, and then garlic seasoning because I use garlic powder all the time, like probably every single day, especially when I'm seasoning my vegetables and seasoning different proteins. I also got some bananas, always for my protein smoothies, my oats, yogurt parfaits, you know the drill. Then we got lots of plant-based protein because I love to have these on hand since plant-based protein takes a long time to go bad. So I figured this would be perfect to stock up on, again, if I am out of town, they aren't gonna go bad in my fridge and stuff. So some tempeh, I always love putting this in my kale salad bowl some tofu these are always good on top of salad as well i got some shredded lettuce and cucumber i'm going to be making greek bowls this week 
And every time I make grape bowls, I like to make them with um, the chicken meatballs. So I got those from Trader Joe's as well, but I got some feta cheese to go on top. I used to love feta cheese, but I haven't had it in such a long time. Another simple breakfast that I used to make a lot was feta cheese, scrambled eggs, and then grape tomatoes on top. So that's why I wanted to get some tomatoes and feta as well. Feta is also great for the grape bowls. These chicken meatballs, you guys know, is always a crucial part of my Trader Joe's runs because they're already fully cooked, which is the best. You don't have to worry about the chicken not being fully cooked through. I'll also throw this on top of salads if I need a quick protein and don't have anything really on hand. So these are a great option to keep in the fridge. Then I also got a red onion to make pickled onions this week. I put pickled onions on top of like every salad or any bowl that I make. And then I got some broccolini. I never really get broccolini, but I saw a recipe with teriyaki salmon bites, some brown rice and broccolini, and it looked so good. So that's definitely some inspo for dinner this week. Then I just got some chicken. And if you guys know me, you know I do not ever really buy chicken because I'm scared of it being undercooked. But my mom actually has a recipe that I want to follow to fully cook my chicken through so that I can save it for leftovers, have it in my fridge without it like putting it back in the microwave and having it be disgusting because typically I cook it over the stove top and then if I do save it for leftovers, I'll put it in the microwave to heat up and then it's just like rock hard. Like it's disgusting because like I said, I'm always fearful of undercooking it. So I'm gonna follow my mom's recipe, make this chicken and it'll be the perfect thing to throw over bowls, have with like rice and veggies, something super simple. So. Lots of a meal inspo for this as well. That was everything that I got from Trader Joe's. I'm going to put all the groceries away and then finish up with some cleaning. spend a little bit planning out my week ahead. I always like to do this on Sunday nights just because it makes me feel very organized and prepped for the week. Regardless of how busy or not busy my week is, this week I actually have quite a few things to do for content and then also I have some appointments so I'll just like put those down for my week and then also I have my calendar pulled up here. This is the monthly calendar and it's typically how I view my weeks. Like I will not write down a to-do list for every single day. That's what I do the morning and day of but if I have like a video that needs to be posted by a certain date or certain appointments, I'll make sure that I instantly like put those within my calendar so that I don't forget. This week I do have a couple appointments popping up so I'm going to write down everything for that and then also just look within my daily planner and start making my to-do list for tomorrow. That way I can wake up Monday morning feeling refreshed and not feeling like super stressed to start the day and everything. My daily planner isn't like, you can't see a bird's eye view of the week or the month. It's just like every single day as you want to go about it. So it's nice to have this pulled up here so that I can get like a clear vision of what my week or what my month looks like. dinner tonight I just made a super simple salmon salad one of my favorite go-to recipes then I just put this creamy dill dressing over top that I find at Trader Joe's it is so good it adds like the best flavor and it's super simple ingredients so I've been pretty much adding this on top of every salad every bowl recently it's the best <laughs> 